Why are food prices going up? What are the major factors? Okay, so the factors affecting um, food prices in Nigeria are many. It's not just one factor. And um, like we um, would say with the development world, it's, it's like an intersection of very many factors. So we have um, adverse weather conditions. We have um, insecurity in the north and in the middle in the middle belt, we have um, we have other factors like government policies. So it's it's a multiplicity of factors. So while you have um, natural disasters like um, drought, like um, um, flood, you also have government policy policy interventions, which, which I'm going to mention um, some of them. Yes, and we also have um, insecurity. So those are like that. That's how I've categorized the issues that um, is that, that have led to, to the uh, prices of food skyrocketing. Talk to me about the government interventions. I'm most curious about that one, because one would think that so, the interventions of government would uh, bring down food prices instead of cause it to skyrocket. Yes. Yeah, so um, it is also known that most of the time when government intervenes in the markets. It does not always bring the outcome that um, they had planned. Mm. So that is why for most people who talk about government interventions, Mm -hmm. they always um, require that it has to be evidence-based. And by evidence-based, it has to be um, policy interventions that have been tested Mm. through research. It's not not just those ones that are are implemented out of impulse Mm -hmm. or what we think would work. Mm-hmm. So for instance, um, some of the policy issues that has affected food prices, we, we, we are still facing the effect anyways. Mm-hmm. For instance, the border closure policy, mm-hmm. you know, for, for since um, August 2019 mm-hmm. till December 2020, mm-hmm. our borders were closed mm-hmm. and um, you know, that, that impacted on food importation. Nigeria is not food sufficient. So when you close the borders and people cannot buy food, mm-hmm. what happens is that the, the prices of those foods go up naturally. Right. You know, it, it now gets to the point of the highest bidder right. gets it. So right. like there's um, inflation. Right. Another so another another thing to consider one of the other um, government policies is the ban of about 44 food items. So about 44 food items are on ban. And um, like I said earlier, they are not food sufficient. So what that means is that um, people have to buy those foods at the, as in, at, at the smuggling rate. You know that when something is controlled, what happens is that the prices go up because of the risk of bringing it into the country. Hmm. Yeah, so that's another government policy that is really taking the prices of food up. So we have other policies like that. In fact, the, 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 the restriction on um, forex and um, suspension of BDCs, mm-hmm. yeah, that, that one too has also skyrocketed food prices. How has that caused that? Because, you know, when there's information asymmetry, when people cannot really tell the exact amount of dollar the exact amount of a dollar and all those things. It does not help, as it does not help um, people to make exact decisions. So what they rely on impulses. Hmm. So it, it leads to surges in prices because people are people are panicking. You know, at every at every news that they hear, you know, they try to hold what they have hmm. in anticipation that like, it's go higher or things like that. So those are like the, the government policies that have affected. Now, you mentioned security as well. And um, yes. now to tackle it, the federal government has started shutting down um, telecoms in affected states. So first of all, Zamfara. Now you have Kaduna. But in SBM's report on the shutdown, you suggest that it may be negatively uh, affecting uh, the farming businesses too. Is, is that a fair assessment? Yes. So, you know, shutting down the telecommunication system 
it's, it, it's not something that affects only the bandits or um, the terrorists alone. Mm. It affects everybody in like everybody in that area. And when you talk about food security, you don't talk about one person. Mm. You talk about actors, like you talk about actors that there are different actors in the supply chain. Right. So from the farmer to the person who is buying the goods. So for instance, if I have um, if I have harvested my goods or my my farm produce, mm-hmm. and I'm trying to contact my supplier, and, and I can't mm-hmm. because the communication uh, systems have been shut down. Mm-hmm. What happens is that I would suffer post harvest losses mm-hmm. because I, I can, I'm, I'm unable to take it to the final um, consumers or even the, the distributors. Mm. So that's it.